Hey, I'm Jesse with Citadel Studios, and today I'd like to talk to you about the 50mm f3.5 collapsible Elmar lens. This was the industry standard lens sold with almost all the screw mount bodies from the 1920s all the way up until their discontinuation in the 1950s. There was close to 400,000 examples of these lenses. Very compact, lightweight, very sharp, and uh, a lot of people swear by them even to this day. Many old users who uh, use the screw mount systems still have theirs lying around, and new users have picked them up because they've uh, felt like getting back into film or interested in lamography. Uh, have uh, probably picked up one of these lenses with uh, another screw mount body or a similar lens made by Zorky or Canon or Nikon. The lens itself collapses into the body for a very compact operation. And on a screw mount body, you can see it attaches very easily for a nice streamlined look. With the introduction of the M series in the 50s, they made all their screw mount bodies, Leica made all their screw mount uh, lenses backwards compatible with the application of just a simple adapter ring. And still, there was no risk of it hitting the shutter curtain inside. That all changed, however, when they introduced the Leica CL. The Leica CL has a meter built in with a little swing arm. As you can see there, it gets in the way. So the problem with that swing arm is, is any of the lenses that had a um, rear protruding element or any of the collapsible lenses, such as the 53.5, uh, would hit it and you could damage the rear element of the lens or the uh, outside barrel of the lens, or you would damage the meter itself, uh, depending, on, uh, depending on how you put it on the camera. And a lot of people ask me today if you can use it on the digital sensors. Now Leica says that you cannot, it will damage it, but I'm gonna show you a trick that costs you about 50 cents to uh, put the lens on your digital camera. It's quite simple. All you do is you take a 50 cent O-ring from any hardware store and you put it around the barrel, just like that. I've already put it on before. And what it does is it prevents it from collapsing too far into your camera. And you're able to just throw it on there like any other M-mount lens without risk of damaging your sensor or your shutter which is wonderful because this lens has stood the test of time and has been around for about 80 years, 90 years, and still works perfectly. And now all of a sudden it gets new life with a digital camera, with its live view and everything. So, enjoy.